What's good? What's good? We back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Pickett, host of the Paul Pickett Podcast. Um, I'm going to react to this Creed 3 trailer. And just know that if I react to a movie trailer, I am excited about seeing this, wanting to see this movie, or I like the movie series or whatever it is. I'm not going to react to any movie trailer I think is garbage and whatnot. Um, and I'm not going to get show no sponsors on this one either. We're just going to react to the video. And we're going to give you the full size. Let's go. Spent the last seven years of my life living out my wildest dreams. Bianca. Rocky. My dad. This is built on their shoulders. Oh, man, can I help you? Can you get an autograph? <laughs> nah, I ain't signing an autograph, but you get off my car. You don't remember me, huh? <laughs> I ain't signing an autograph. Damien. How long were you locked up? 18 years, bro. Just got out last week. Glad to have you back out, huh? I know I've been away a long time, but I kept myself in shape. I still got gas in the tank. Come by the gym. Thank you. Curious what happened with you two. I didn't tell you. We was like brothers. I was the best though. But I never got a chance to prove that. That's cute. Hey, hey, listen, what you doing, man? You trying to hurt me? Hey, hey, hey. I know what you're doing, Donnie. You don't owe this dude nothing. Damien's fighting the world and he's trying to hurt people. I vouch for you. You think you mad? Try spending half your life in a cell. Why did somebody else live your life? I'm coming for everything. You threatening me? Something is going on with you. Damien was like family. Now we pass talking. Then maybe you just have to find him. Do what I gotta do. Some of my methods, you might disagree with me. These are family ties, I recognize mine, I know that they needed me. Traumatic stress, watch it manifest, got my only fear, I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? I ain't scared of death. Did you hear me yet? What you gonna do, threaten to take my breath? I need you to let go of your fear. Let go of the guilt. Let go of whatever was, and walk into what is. I feel those chains are breaking, yeah. I fear God, I don't fear death. I see those strengths and take a step. Can't wait, man. Um, I, I'm thinking it's that cat Ryan Cooper that came up with the idea of Creed. See, this is how – this is the good part of Hollywood. All that wokeness. Like, when I'm watching this this Creed trailer, I'm not sitting there saying, damn, there's not enough white people in this, this movie. Like, no. It's all about just good actors, good story, good movie. Is it good? Is it entertaining? You know, action pack. Is the story good? I mean, Creed is basically. It was. I think it was genius that it came out with Creed. You know, I, I think it was genius. Rocky was all. Rocky couldn't keep going. Rocky's too old to keep boxing as Rocky in the ring. So now they're able to keep the Rocky brand going still. Off of the Creed brand. And this Creed brand can go, they're what, they're three in? They could go two more at least, right? They could go two more at least. Um, people love this Creed brand. Um, I like it. I think it, it, it was it was genius, brilliant. Um, Michael B. Jordan, I mean, he's, I mean, he's young. He's got a whole career ahead of him. Dude already got his own movie series. Um what more can I say, man? Um, can't wait to see it. They got my man from Heart of They Fall in there that had a cross on his head. He looks cop D on here. Uh, the last one, the story was great when they brought in the Russians. Like, it, per, it was perfect. Everything was perfect with this, you know? And they could go, they could go probably another one, you know? No woke identity, gender politics, just good story, good cast. Good movie. That's that's all 
you know, people really want, man. It's just a good story, good acting, and, and, and a good movie. They don't want to be, you know, like you, they don't want you hitting them with moral politics and gender politics and virtue signaling and, you know, when they watch being entertained. When people want to be entertained, they just want to be entertained. That's why the NBA is is lost, you know, its edge because it's alienated half of their they consumer base. And that's another thing. When you start bringing these things in, you're alienating. Like, I'm pretty sure that Creed is bringing in a ton of black fans from the urban setting and a ton of white fans that were fans of, of Rocky because Rocky being part of it. And I didn't see Rocky in this one, Sylvester in this one, but they don't even really got to have Sylvester in this one. Cause just the, 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 just saying his name keeps the Rocky brand alive. This creed has kept Rocky brand and Rocky. There was what five, six Rockies. Now the creeds. I mean, this is, you know, this is a, movie series that's pretty much been going on my whole lifetime. I'm 43 years old. And I want to say the first Rocky was around 1979, if I'm not mistaken, 78, 79. I could be wrong, you know? So this is my whole life has been invested in Rocky and Creed. <laughs> and that's the thing. They could do this Apollo Creed part of it for an awful long time. You know, so big ups to Michael B. Jordan, big ups to the creator of Creed. Can't wait. You know, we need good movies to come out to combat all these bullshit, woke politics movies. Once again, I'll thank you all for tuning in. Paul Pickett Podcast. Peace. And I'm out.